Hello, and welcome to Interview by Sean S. LeBlanc. Uh, this is a bitsy horror game. Uh, you can find a link in the description to play this video game, and also a link to the creator's Twitter. So this is a, a, a horror game made in Bitsy, um, and I believe that there are some hacks at work to make it look a little bit different. Bitsy games typically uh, don't don't look like this. I uh, don't seem to be... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can move. Can't go that way. You know, we're here for the interview. We can't just leave the building without getting our interview. I mean, we could... I've done it before, uh, but no, we're going to trudge on in uh, to, to 236, and this is 236, not 235. Uh, this is the, the right door. I thought it'd be 235. Uh, I forgot how. Um, <laughs> I forgot. How, I always forget how that works, the, 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 the layouts. So this is a Bitsy game. If you ever seen a Bitsy game, they typically don't look like this, uh, this, this isometric viewpoint, um, some weird 3D work happening here. Uh, yeah, we are here for the interview. Uh, we'll head on up uh, towards it. Uh, so this is a very interesting use of Bitsy to, I guess, I guess create a different... Um, oh, it's a plastic one. There was a sad little plant in the, the other corner and a, and a plastic one over here. You know, sometimes sometimes you got to have a plastic plant. So I believe this is an elevator. Uh, just find the button to push. I can't seem to find... The, okay, well, I, I guess I just needed to approach the door. Um, nope, I'm heading the wrong way. So the, the viewpoint does uh, make it a little strange. Uh, you can't really... Uh, tell which way you're about to walk like I, I guess it's been relatively consistent um, it's just a little strange uh, very reminiscent of you know older uh, ps1 survival horror games uh, with their fixed uh, camera angles your resident evils your 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 silent hills is this the the room with the interview is this who's interviewing us oh we we wouldn't want to be late I guess this is another secretary lots of secretaries here what happens if I try to leave this room no, yeah, it would be, it wouldn't, yeah, it'd be a little rude to walk out, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes the interview's a bit much, but okay, they're waiting for us. Okay, so we're still, we're approaching the camera. There's a lot of, a lot of rooms we have to go through to, uh, to get to this interview. There are no chairs. I can't even see who, who was talking to us about our interview. It just seems like there's uh, some big blocks in here. Perhaps they're machines of some sort. Maybe they are just big boxes. We we were told to wait. Um, you know, there's, there's not a chair to sit around in. There doesn't seem to be a door uh, that we could go out. So perhaps we should just spend some time waiting. Waiting for uh, for either us to be called or for our patients to wear thin. Uh, and we could walk out. Now, when it comes to interviews, I'm a... Uh, I, I, it's been a little while since I've interviewed, uh, luckily, uh, but I've, I'm, I'm kind of a, a tenacious when it comes to interviews. And by that, I mean, uh, I, I can, I can be a little more patient than I should be. Uh, there was an interview I had once where I was brought into the interview room uh, and they forgot about me for an hour. Uh, and then eventually I was like, Oh, hey, it's been some time. I, I'd brought, I'd brought a book to read and I had just kind of gotten soaked up in the book. So I just, you know, waited a little too long. And then eventually I, I realized, hey, wait, I've read like 50 pages of this book. I should probably go check what's up. Uh, and then I surprised that the, the manager of the job, like, oh, shoot, we were supposed to interview. Yeah, right. Uh, and then I didn't get the job. And, and that's what made that story suck. Whenever I walked out of there, I was like, oh, I definitely got this job. No problem. Uh, and I told that story to kind of give us some time to wait around here. Uh, but nothing's happening. So I suppose we'll just try and walk out, see if anything happens. Yeah, we are getting impatient. Yeah, we haven't conducted the interview yet. Yeah, there, there wasn't a place to sit down. I mean, we could sit down on the ground. I'm not sure if I... Okay, yeah, there's a chair. Yeah, we can sit down now. Yeah, you know, we got a little impatient. They brought us a chair. Are we have any control? This is the chair that you're... Yep. Do I just need to, to wait here? I'm not sure if we should be waiting here or not, uh, based on the fact that we, we did have to interact with the world uh, to... Uh, make things happen. Okay, so we left the chair. Uh, people are talking to us about the interview. Why? Why are we here? Yeah, I would assume for the interview for for job. <laughs> Where are you? Yes. I mean, not only is that kind of a a, a scary response. Um, although I, I suppose we're the white text and the this uh, purple. It's not exactly a purple, but I don't, lavender. It's like a, it's like a pale purple color. I, I assume that's them. I want a secure position. Yeah, don't don't we all? Every yeah, everybody does. You know, everybody wants a secure position. You sit in the chair for a moment. Yeah, sit in the chair. You know, it makes you feel better. These interviews can be stressful. I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody should be prepared for failure. You know, that that isn't 
a particularly scary question just yet, you know? Oh, we're not prepared for failure. Well, you know, as someone who fails a lot, I'm very prepared for failure. Um, previously, oh, there we go. We just had to move out a little bit uh, to, to prompt the next uh, text. What, what is our name? My name? Do you not have my resume? Yeah. Okay. They don't they don't seem to have a resume. Oh, picture my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've been to, I've been to plenty of interviews. Sometimes sometimes you have to form the letters in your head, you know. You know, so, so, some sometimes it's it's that way. Oh, the practical exam. Okay. This is this is the part that, you know, you're always worried about, but you know, it's sometimes, you know, the practical exam's the easiest part cuz you get to do what you know how to do. It's the most nerve-wracking part, but nice warm cup of tea. Oh boy. Most nerve-wracking part. Another fake plant. Oh, something. Okay, we 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 rummage around in it and found a silver coin with a viper on its face. Cool. Perhaps we can uh, use that uh, in some way. The the interview person had nothing to say to us. Oh, are we actually we're actually speaking to someone now? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's one of the secretaries from earlier because we seem to have left the room. There's a ladder leading down the hole. All right. I will say, uh, the, the confusion I had with the movement uh, early on has kind of alleviated as we've gone on. Oh, is this a cat or a dog? Oh, it, it's a cat. Well, thank you. Can I? No, the cat doesn't have any more to say. The cat just wanted to let us know uh, that it is, in fact, a cat. And I appreciated that the, the clearing up there because I was unsure of cat or dog. It, it, it appeared to be one. We had, we had the questions answered. So we're in the practical part of the exam. Uh, we weren't told exactly what to do, but there was some tea over here. I don't seem to be able to interact with the tea anymore. I suppose I drank it. We found a coin. We found a cat. We've had some tea. Uh, I would say we're we're nailing this, you know, by by all by all considerations, you know. How many people do you do you think you know immediately look at the plant and go, oh yeah, no no no, no. There, there, there's a silver coin in there. That that's got to be good points. We got to be doing pretty well. Um, I want to be careful not to get too lost, uh, so we you know don't forget places that we haven't already explored. Hmm. Some kind of big block here. Don't seem to be able to get around it. Is this text written? Oh, it, it was a room we could enter. I'm starting to get a little worried um, because it's a horror game. I'm starting to get worried because uh, it's starting to feel like I might have gone a progress direction. Uh, we have a coin we have to spend. We got to do something with our coin. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to progress any farther into this uh, frog. I mean, you know, it's, it's green. It's got a mouth. It's very frog-esque in my mind. Uh, perhaps this is a room we should come back to later. Um, I don't seem to be able to leave out the way I came. I wasn't able to get out the frog's mouth. Oh, here we go. It changed. Uh, that's that's convenient. A door with a bronze keyhole. Well, we don't have a bronze key. I have a silver coin. I have a silver coin. Oh, this one has a silver keyhole. Uh, maybe I've uh, made some uh, mistakes in my life and uh, coming here too early. We we're unable to, to progress. Perhaps that's what's happening here. I don't know uh, if there's other buttons I could be hitting to show, uh, like an inventory or something. I, I know Bitsy's, Bitsy's a, a, you know, a decently limited thing, you know, to create smaller experiences. Um, so I'm just, I'm just trying my, my options, pushing some different keys, seeing if I have an inventory of any sort. Doesn't seem to be an inventory of any sort, so we may, oh, there we go, we were able to leave the room. We just had to make the scary door up here uh, before we were able to leave. Okay, so we know that there's a door with a bronze and silver keyhole and we have a silver coin but no keys just yet an indoor succulent yep nothing in the succulent you know just check it a couple times vending machine big picture of a snake looking very dehydrated well we have a silver coin with a viper on it okay so we're not able to do anything with it just yet perhaps we have to learn what option uh, we need to hit perhaps uh, our silver coin with the viper on it isn't correct even though it has a picture of a snake looking dehydrated uh, perhaps we have to dehydrate our viper coin first. So let's come this direction. We haven't come this way yet. Uh, there's a person moving. A false figurine. A false figurine. A fall, small figurine in the shape of a cat. Uh, perhaps we can take that back to that cat we saw. What does this person have to say? Mm, no sound being made, uh, but they're talking. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, their lips move, but no noise comes out of their mouth. Okay, so I'm still... Uh, I'm still uh, interacting with this person even over there. Or is this a different person? Maybe it's someone else back there as well, because I seem to be out of the, the range of this one person. All right. 
I guess we'll, before we continue on, let's go head back to that cat. Oh, I can just, I've been pushing the button every single time, but I can actually hold it down uh, to move. Wasn't there someone here at one point? Yeah. Whoever they're there, they're, you know, sitting there silently. We won't bother them. Hello, cat. I believe I have a figure of you. J12. Okay, thank you, cat. Only a cat would have known to shatter uh, a figurine of itself, you know. As as a hu as a human being, whenever I see figure of a fellow human being, I don't think to break it. Only a cat has the wi the wiliness, the ingenuity to think I should shatter that thing that this person is holding out to me. You know, it's it's, it's what cats do. They 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 love chaos, and you know us as humans beings, we we also enjoy chaos, but we like to pretend that we don't. Yep, we know the code from earlier. Oh, it spits out an energy drink. <laughs> we can't afford another drink. Um, hmm. So we have an energy drink. Should we go give the energy drink to uh, the person who's making no sound? Perhaps we could pour it on one of the, the very thirsty looking plants we saw previously. Nope, the this person doesn't seem to want to do anything with it. Uh, maybe the, the uh, person who uh, speaks in ellipses. Maybe they're just asleep and they need a little bit of an energy drink to wake them up. Mm -hmm, hand them the drink. Yep. Okay, so they slurped it and they gave us a silver key. Uh, so we have a silver key. Don't have the bronze key, uh, but there doesn't seem to be any other rooms that we could uh, go into unless we were to backtrack. But I don't remember uh, any, anything about a key that could have helped us previously. So we'll come down here and we can at least interact with one of the doors. Uh, how do we make the door appear? Do we just got to like get it off screen? So we come back here, find that it's blocked off, go back, the door's reappeared. Put the silver key in the keyhole. It fits, but the door won't open while the other is locked. Okay, so... What do we gotta do about this one? Is because that one, that one needs a bronze key, and I've done, done everything that we we found thus far, but no, no uh, bronze things. Let's see, who have we? We haven't interacted with uh, the quiet person yet. Oh, this isn't part of the test. Oh, okay. Is is this just like a a, a secret uh, person that was hiding back there uh, that we we could speak to? Is this? Yeah, it, it. I guess I guess they were being very very literal. It isn't part of the test. It is just a little Easter egg if you decide to go back there. Okay, so let's. We got a key. What else can we do? So there's the machine, which you know we can't afford another drink. You know we can find a succulent. Nothing nothing up with the succulent. There's the very quiet person we saw. We don't seem to be able to interact with them in any way. Was there anything else in this room? There was at one point the figurine of the cat. Nothing off to the side. So I suppose we will have to backtrack uh, into a previous room. Let's see. There is this block here, very reminiscent of uh, the, the block uh, with the room that takes us to the, the keyholes. Uh, yeah, the fake plant over here. We found tea at one point. Uh, do, can we backtrack even farther? This was before the practical test, though, so I'm not sure if we need to come back here. This is the chair we were in. Yeah, welcome back. Oh, did we? F oh, no. We weren't curious enough. I didn't actually mean to, to end the interview. I was just interested in sitting in the chair. Oh, all right. Well, seems like we might have gotten a bat in there. We weren't curious enough to find uh, the bronze key. We were resourceful, but not curious. Uh, and that seems to be the end of the game. Um, hmm. I'm going to reload it and poke around just a little bit more. Oh, hey, so I, I poked around a little bit more. Uh, found something in the corner. Oh, it's the bronze key. Okay, so in the corner of the cat room, uh, there was the bronze key. Damn, I was like, I'm starting to get a little self-conscious. Like, oh, man, I feel like I might have, uh, <laughs> I feel like I might not end up finding anything. Uh, and then I'll feel really awkward about the way that I, I ended that off. And we'll have to, like, splice in. Like, nope, I failed. Whoops. Um, okay, so now we have a bronze and a silver key. Cool. Um. I am a bit concerned, though. We haven't found a a, uh, a purpose to the the person uh, who who speaks, but no sound is made. I'm uh, just coming back here to to talk to whoever's back there, just in case. So this game is interesting, you know. Uh, it has a it has a very interesting look uh, that I imagine hoping hoping YouTube doesn't completely butcher. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll see how it looks uh, when when it gets uploaded. But so far, this is this is an interesting little uh, you know adventure game. So silver keyhole. Uh, bronze key hole. We'll, we'll use our. Okay, we, we we just use both of them at once. We don't have to unlock both of them. Cool. Okay, so, uh, oh, someone's tired down here. So previously, you know, we we they they need energy, but we we've already given away our energy drink. Do you want energy as well? 
eyes are closed. So this is what we weren't able to find previously. And when we took the position, we ended up taking the position of being dead, I suppose. Um, I'm not exactly sure what these are. I mean, I'm assuming they're, they're supposed to be people of some sort. Uh, just looking at their, their sprite uh, compared to ours, though. Uh, perhaps they're supposed to be laying down. Their eyes are closed. Or all Their eyes are closed. Is that just what it's going to say for all of them? Their eyes are closed. Okay, so it's it's nothing to do with... Uh, I mean, I guess I could run back and see if I can get an, another energy drink, but unless the, unless the world has changed, uh, you know, unless we can find another coin, you know, there'd be no purpose to going back uh, with, with coinless. So perhaps if we find a coin, we can come and give them an energy drink. But I'm, I'm guessing that they're probably... They're probably in a little bit more of a danger than, oh, they just need an energy drink to feel better. Let's see, what's, what's up with this person? Oh, this is the, the slurping person. Okay, so this is the this is the room we were in previously. Um, there was the, the cup of tea over here. I wonder if uh, you're supposed to not drink the tea so you can you can give it to the those people. Hmm, interesting. So this this brought us back up, and now we're, we're in the rooms we were in previously, uh, just from a different angle. So if we come over here, this would take us to the cat room. Oh, nope. Oh, and it, it brought us back to the original camera angle. I hope I hope I wasn't supposed to exit out the room uh, in that state. Oh, get out of my room. Oh, boy, I've, I've upset the cat. I'm sorry, cat. I will do so. Uh, okay, what about this person? We were unable to see them, but whenever the world flips, we can see them. Uh, so I, I'm guessing maybe we need to uh, go back down. Uh, if, if the game will allow us to go back down, flip the camera angle, uh, maybe we can explore uh, like this area. Perhaps... Um, Perhaps if we look at look at this person at a different angle, maybe maybe we can uh, strike up a, a more engaging conversation. Now let's come over to this room. Not that we can do anything, because we, we cannot afford another drink. We've been unable to find uh, another coin thus far, so I suppose we'll just we'll go down. And we'll we'll explore the limits of our abilities. If we can just you know we'll come in here, make the door spawn. We should still have our keys. We can come through here. Are our, our, all of them? Yep, all of their eyes are still closed probably dead so okay so we flip the the angle we know if we go that way it, it oh i actually don't seem to be able to come the, nope I, I can't come this way okay so the camera is flipped back here so going back the cat way uh flips the room so let's go in here where we found the people who who talk but we can't hear them maybe now that we nope no sound is still being made yeah, so even even looking at them at this angle doesn't seem to help talk to them a couple times just to you know see if we can uh, make anything happen nope Nothing seems to be happening here. Oops, didn't mean to. Are we still in, in flip town? Yeah, we are still uh, in the, the flipped world. I mean, the world's not flipped. It's just a different camera angle, technically. Uh, we can come in here. Uh, what about the... Yeah, we still can't afford a drink. What about the succulent? The succulent should be right over here. Indoor succulent. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be uh, anything different over here. I imagine we're probably good to just leave and go back to our uh, our interview and see what kind of position we get now that we've uh, discovered this area. But, you know, we might as well look around. So there was the, oh, there's some text there or something. It might just be a color uh, that, that we saw previously. So we, we came back here and we were told that this was not part of the test. Uh, and it does seem that whoever was back here uh, previously is gone now. So what happens if we, so yeah, we can come down here. This will take us back to normal world. Uh, all right, so there's no flipped version of this. So we'll just continue onwards. Get keys in the keyhole. Whoop, didn't mean to come out that way. Let's go back out here. Okay, I think I think we've uh, sufficiently poked around. Let's go back out to our interview and see uh, see what's happened. Were we were we not were we still not curious enough? I imagine because we poked around. There was there was the thirsty dead people uh, who we were unable to help. Oh, sorry. I oh no wait. Please continue. Did I? Oh, this is taking us back here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put us in flip world again just in case I've messed this up, uh, and then and then I'll I'll meet you. Well, actually, I was I was like I'll cut away, but this it doesn't take that long. Y'all know y'all know what we need to do. We need to spawn a door. Just go back through here. Uh, luckily, uh, they didn't take our keys when we left this area, so we'll go back in. And we'll this time we'll. Oh no, I flipped it again. Dang. Um, yeah, the, the the controls, you know. In some of the rooms, they, they make a little bit more sense. Sometimes when the camera flips, it can get a little strange to know which way you're going. The the more you play, well, actually, I should say, the less the more you play, and eventually it just clicks in your head like, oh, yes, I think I understand the controls now. Whereas when I when I first started playing and we were moving down that hallway, you know, looking for room 236 all that time ago, you know, who's to say where we were really going? I didn't know then. Like, 
Okay, I'm going to push the down key so we can uh, continue out this way. And we can sit down in this chair and see uh, what kind of position we get now. Yep, the previous candidates. All right. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we weren't explicitly killed this time. Uh, I guess we were less explicitly killed, so we, we did it. Uh, we've secured the position. We've done what we all seek to do in an interview and secure a position with the mysterious capitalist uh, who we were uh, bargaining with, I suppose. Uh, so that is, once again, the interview by Sean S. LeBlanc. Uh, you can play the game for yourself. Perhaps there's some secrets I didn't discover in, in this playthrough. I imagine there are. There were the people who spoke without making sounds. Uh, you know, there were the previous candidates who maybe maybe we could have brought them the tea had I not uh, drank it immediately upon entering the room. Maybe there was a coin somewhere and we could have uh, could have interacted with the vending machine again. Who knows? The, the possibilities are endless. I mean, th there are finite possibilities. Because you know it was a game made by a human being, but I I enjoyed this one. It seemed this was a fun little game uh, and a good foray for our our October look at some uh, some horror games on itch.io itch.io itch.io. It's not it, I always say itch.io, but that's not. This was this was the interview by Sean S. LeBlanc.